Hello everybody, this is Brent Warner at edtech.tv. I hope you're doing well. Today's question is, what is a back channel and how do I use one? So, I don't know about you, but the first time I heard of the, the expression a back channel, I was kind of uh, wary or a little bit suspicious of it. It seems a bit off, right? Like a back channel, right? Like the the, the back alleyway of doing something, right? Um, and so it can be a little bit possibly linguistically it can throw you off a little bit but a back channel is nothing bad it's actually a way to run a second line of communication in your classroom so uh, typically speaking a back channel is going to be some sort of service that you'll use that students can talk to each other and talk with you um, without interrupting maybe your lecture or um, if someone's talking at the same time that you don't necessarily need to interrupt a presentation or anything like that. And so there are a lot of different ways to use back channels, uh, but kind of the most popular way and the way that I've seen it done best uh, is through Today's Meet. Now Today's Meet is a service that does exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, it creates a room, basically it creates a chat room for teachers and for students to all jump into. It's very easy to set up and get going. So today we're going to take a quick walk through today's meet and make sure that you can do it and then uh, take a look at a couple of ways you might want to implement it into your classroom. So let's go have a look. So the first thing you're going to do is go to todaysmeet.com and you'll notice that you do have an option to sign in and to sign up for it. Uh, if you want to just jump right into it, you don't need to do that. You can go right away and create your own room. So let's try that just to show what it's like without uh, signing in. So I'm going to pick a name for my room and it can be, you know, related to your room, whatever you want. So we'll call this one EdTech TV. And I got to say how long I want to keep the room open for. So, you know, I can go one hour, two hours, up to a month, um, even a year. Uh, but I'm going to go two hours for right now. And then I'm going to open the room. Here I have a choice to put in my nickname. So I'll put in Brent. And I can put in my message. And I'm set to go. Now, of course, with me being the only person in the room, it doesn't serve much purpose, so I do need to share out uh, the room to my students. And there's a bunch of ways that I can do that. Uh, number one, maybe the fastest way would be to sh uh, copy the link and maybe go into Remind and send it out via Remind. Um, but you can also do it directly down here with the little uh, icon at the bottom that says Room Tools. Click here. Uh, you can either copy the code here, you can embed it directly into WordPress, Moodle, um, Blackboard, all sorts of things if you're into that. Uh, you, you can also do the QR code, which is pretty great. Now, I would recommend using uh, the little pop-out window because I find that when you leave a room and come back to it, you might miss out on some information. So click on, not on the QR code link itself, but on the little pop-out window right next to it and it's gonna make a QR code directly for your room. So let's see what happens when the students jump in with their QR code. So a student can pull out their phone using their QR reader of choice. At the moment I recommend QR Reader by scan.me. And then uh, they're gonna put their scanner up to the screen. And instantly it's going to open up to my room. So we can see right here it's opening up to EdTech TV room. We can already see some of the chat. If they scroll over, they're just going to put in their nickname. And join the room. And they're going to put in their part. And that information is going to come in right into the room. If I go back over... close this down and I can see right here that Stuart has put in his little message right into the room as well so that's my message by Brent that's Stuart's message and if someone else wanted to join they could do that as well now Amelia is in the room now you can see that there's some color coding going on you can turn that option on and off so it says show speaker colors it kind of gives you a little sense of different people talking um, but that's about it. So you can start this message and everything's going on. The newer posts are up at the top, so you see the most recent things showing up. But you can continue to let the students talk in the background 
while you are presenting or while another student's presenting. Uh, then at the end, you can also choose to save a transcript. So we'll open up the transcript. And notice how the transcript goes in the opposite direction. So the transcript will start with the message from me at the beginning and then the other students working down the line. So should I at some other point want to take a look over what people are typing or after the fact, maybe there were some questions that showed up that were relevant, uh, I can definitely use the transcript option to save all of this and take a look at it later. Um, you can also print it and maybe just print it out right to a PDF so you don't have to waste paper, but pretty great functionality right there. Now, if you're going to use this regularly, I do recommend that you sign up for it and create your own account because there's a little bit more functionality that you can work with and some things that are pretty nice. Uh, so when you do that, you're just going to sign yourself in. And now you can see that I've got a record of the, uh, the rooms that I've opened up in the past. If I want to close a room, I've got right here, it says my rooms and I've, I've done some practice runs. So um, I can close this one at 1150. So if I wanted to close it uh, right away, I could click on the X button right here and I could actually just close down the room. Um, I can also change, you can see it. Um, I can get the QR code and see the transcripts directly from the back end that I've saved in here. Um, I can choose also, once I'm logged in, I can also choose to save a room for a year instead of up to a month. Um, so if you've got a single class that you're going to be running all year long, that might be a good option for you as well. Um, additionally, when we jump into the room, I can see what other people have written, but let's say I don't like, um, you know, Amelia's comment here. Me too. That's very offensive. And so I'm going to choose to delete that particular message so that it doesn't show up. And that will also be deleted from the transcript. So if you have any kids that are kind of screwing around or putting something that's not necessary, uh, you might just want to go in there and keep monitoring that. Um, you know, you are going to have to work with a little bit of trust with your students and maybe have them actually have their real names on there because the open nature of it also allows for a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of playing around with it. So it's something to look at uh, and something to be aware of. So that's it for today. We're going to jump right into your homework. The first thing is to go to edtech.tv and grab the cheat sheet. I've got a little uh, one page PDF that you can download and remind yourself of what you need to do this. And also you can share it out with your fellow teachers or your administration just to say, hey, this is a useful feature. Uh, why don't other classes try it out as well? Um, of course, you might want to try it out first for yourself, so please do go to todaysmeet.com and then create a back channel for your class. Uh, finally, I'd, I would recommend that you ask your students how they want to use it. You may be surprised to find that they have different ideas than you, and some of them might be more productive for your class. You know, um, getting the ideas of the masses does help out a lot of the time, and so find out what they want. You might find that you're getting, you know, you're some of your quieter students speaking up more using these back channels. Uh, there are, of course, other back channels, but I would recommend that you do start with um, today's meet first because it's pretty easy to jump right into. As always, I would love to hear from you. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all at EdTechTV. Uh, I want to hear if you're using this stuff, if you're finding it useful and, you know, what the response has been in your classroom. Shoot me a message anytime. I will get back to you, I promise, and I hope all is going well. We will talk soon.